What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about this whole locking coins thing. So I did a video a couple weeks ago about it. That was when the idea was more abstract. Since then, we actually have an app now, hodllocker.com. That's built by a pseudonymous uh, developer at zero DT on Twitter. Um, he's also the guy that did the Power Rare guns, 3D model guns. Um, and he worked with uh, Gorilla Pool back, way back to uh, do like 50 megabyte put the whole 3D model things on, uh, guns on chain um, and uh, sold them uh, as NFTs, which was really cool. So he's a developer behind this. Um, he's also had help from Jack Lou from Relay, who kind of incepted this idea. And uh, as of today, there are about almost 450 BSVs locked into this app. So the idea is, as I mentioned in the video and an article, which I'll link below, I have another article coming out on CoinGeek this week. but. Um, the idea is that you have a leaderboard where basically people lock up their coins for X amount of blocks, right? So um, whoever has the most coins locked up is at the top of the leaderboard. Right now, only the uh, Relay X wallet is supported, but um, you know, in theory, you could do this with any keys, right? Um, right now, I'm sure that the back end is only a simple database. Sorry, right, fixing the camera here. Um, but again, this, this is all open, interoperable on chain um which i'm i'm about to take the gloves off talking about this stuff because um it's it's obviously not hitting still in this community and uh this is really fundamental stuff so you know trigger warning on it you know if i get a little riled up here so um yeah so you have the leaderboard concept that was first and you can put text behind it at first it was just text and op return but over a matter of hours now it is a open social post uh, according to some of these protocols that have been built from 2018, 2019. So that means that other apps like my retro feed, block post, uh, Twitch, if they wanted to, could ingest this stuff now. Um, and then they have the script that has the lock coins and the block height. So, you know, all you got to do is go to the chain to get the stuff. And anyone can replicate this data, build their own wallet, integrate it with whoever, Twitch wallet, hand cash, sent B, whatever, QR codes, literally, right? Single key in the browser, whatever, whatever you want to do once that ordinals wallets, right? Um, so there's no vendor lock-in in in this case, and you can always unlock your coins. So people are still a bit sketchy about security, which I think is why there's only so many coins locked up. But um, I, I believe as more people lock, um, you will see that number get bigger and bigger. So um, as mentioned, there's 450 coins locked up, and it also started to transform into a social media. So now there's a feed, which is defaulted on the homepage that you see the messages people have written along with their lockups. And just of, as of last night, you can click the bottom left lock icon and do a lock like, and that'll default to 1 million sats or 0.01 BSV and kind of curate their content, right? Uh, which is really cool. So, and that is also compatible with the open social protocol. So. Um, things are moving quite fast. Um, what I want to see personally, I've been actually posting, locking coins on there, posting about this. Um, we need images ASAP. Uh, we need to format the post. Relax needs to lower the fees to one sat. Um, so, they, you know, there's no reason for these things to be costing, you know, 100 sats or whatever. Um, and um, I think next is, you know, I don't know what next is going to be. Maybe tokens, NFT airdrops. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's so much that can be done and anyone can interact with it. Anyone can build on this today. You don't need to ask him for his database. It would be helpful if he shared the TX IDs, but it's all on the, it's all public and it's all on the ledger. And I think this is the part that people are missing with the locking because, um, you know, I see all this stuff about, oh, it's nothing new and lock time's been there since 09, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but I've never, and I'll just say this, I don't care what anybody says. I have never engaged with any type of app or network where the idea was saving money in a public forum that has never existed to my knowledge. Maybe something like that Acorns app or whatever, uh, but I don't think there was a social element behind that because obviously that stuff's private, right? Well, with this, you can obviously be pseudonymous. You can use your JPEG avatar, your Rexy, whatever you want on Relay at the moment. Um, and you know, we're, there's a social network forming around this. Um, replies that's going to happen and also there's a 21 limit cap <laughs> uh, which is really funny because i think people want to lock up a way more way more and as more people unlock more people will have confidence in this in this script um and you know it is built via s script 
using that op push txt technique i have more details in the article it's going to come out about technically how it works and i've also published a gist for code of people how people can unlock themselves independently of the hodl locker domain and the relay x wallet so um you're not going to need them if they go down tomorrow no one's going to get rugged as long as you have your keys um and you know self-custody right personal responsibility which is extremely important and unfortunately we've been um convinced that that's not important um and sorry that's just this is just the nature of the system and until that's proven otherwise that's how it is um uh, so uh so yeah so i, I really let me hop on the openness before i get into the other stuff um this is really highlighting the stupidity of building these closed systems i mean honestly like if there's no point in using this blockchain i've i've done my research man uh, you know i when when i was still working i was i was part of the bsv community for about a year before i quit okay um i did research in the hyperledger into these private blockchains it's it's retarded like it makes no sense all that stuff is is to just basically fleece people out of money to deliver them some bullshit solution that they could just build with any sql database okay the any sql permission database um, if you're going to use the ledger for um, closed stuff, that I'm not saying it's not valuable. What I'm saying is in an environment where the coin price is 30, there is no demand. Um, and this thing is still looked at as basically a scam by someone cosplaying as Satoshi. That's the public perception. In that environment, you're, this thing is not going to take off by using it in that way. And this is what I said about how the old system, that the, the, the whole, all of it, all the crypto has rejected ideas from the old system. Um, so that means that whatever is built needs to be new, open, interop, truly interoperable. Meaning I don't need to be hitting some permission REST API to get data. No, fuck that. I need to be going to the ledger with a fucking TX ID, getting the transaction, inspecting that shit myself, looking at the outputs, how much coins was there. Okay, I got all of it. I do not need to be at doing some off token, OAuth dumb shit, Web2 bullshit to be getting the data. I can go check the shit myself, okay? And that's the nature of this. And this is what people are, aren't, aren't getting, criticizing. Oh, I can lock coins myself. Oh, I trust myself to be personally responsible. Dude, CDs are a thing. Trust are certificate deposits. Trust, uh, trust are a thing. Life insurance is a thing, right? Um, those things are set up because people aren't responsible. Anyone who actually has lost money due to insecure systems or um, from trust would know what I'm talking about, right? Um, if you lock your coins up, who can get them but you? Um, if you think, oh, okay, I can just be personally responsible. Um, okay. I'll, how many people were personally responsible when Silk Road came out and BTC was what? Bitcoin was $9. And then today, like my buddy who um, found out from another friend at church that, um, you know, he, he, he had it back in the day with Silk Road. And then uh, he's like, what's that? What's it now? 30 bucks? And the guy said, no, 30,000. And he just put his head like this. I keep hearing people saying that, um, oh, I wish this thing, this thing should have been out 10 years ago. And it could have been, right? Because you had script. You have Bitcoin script. Um, sadly, you can't do this shit on other block UTXO blockchains unless they add script. But they're going to tell you, they're going to say the same st dumb shit they've been saying for a decade, which is, oh, it's unsafe. We need to disable all the opcodes for your protection, even though the creator said he wanted to support every transaction type he thought was possible. So sorry, you can only do this shit on BSV currently. Um, yeah, I'm sure some, someone will try to copy it on a proof of stake account based blockchain that doesn't scale, will never scale, um, you know, add some DGEN shit. But um, and then you can get rugged, right, because it's an account based model. It's proof of stake. People vote with their coins, not with their work. So, um, you know, someone will just fork the ledger if some too much of this shit keeps happening and then uh, take all your coins and then you're wrecked. Right. Whereas with this system, it's not going to happen. Um, sure. They could change the scripts, uh, you know, in theory, that might have happened to people back in the past with Bitcoin. Um, but, you know, if enough stuff gets locked into this, then it becomes economic problem. Right. Not a technical issue and you know folks will be able to get their money not through the court system but um through miners voting with the node software right so or you know putting the software in i mean it's take we don't need to worry about it is what my point is the more stuff that gets locked up the less it's gonna problem is gonna be okay so that's it for the openness um as far as what can be done with this i mean like i said because it's open man i mean you know i expect to see a client another client probably within a week um, I don't know if I'll do it or somebody else will do it. Someone's going to do it. Um, 
I've thought about whether it's too soon to do that because of the network effect that the hodlocker.com already has. Um, I think it probably shouldn't be messed with right now, but you know, if, if I, I'm sure people want to use this without using relay, I'm sure that's the thing, right? Um, they should be able to use it with single key, whatever. Um, so th I think that's, you know, it, it's going to happen, right? Um, what I'm interested to see is kind of what more incentives What's another thing that's been discussed is the, you know, we got the likes now, um, which is default into 0.01 BSV against, which is super fun, by the way, um, is locking against a profile. So you could basically have a leaderboard of a profile of people you lock coins against and, you, you know, you can choose the duration or whatever. Um, that's fascinating, right? Because then you would see who people would want to vote on. Um, and it's arbitrary, right? I mean, what do you vote on? Whatever I want to do with my coins. Um, so, and people are going to do whatever the hell they want with their coins, right? Um, and that, that brings me to a point I want to make. Because um, obviously I've seen a lot of the criticisms of this. Um, first of all, uh, there's nothing else exciting happening in BSV right now. So this is definitely the thing that has my attention. I, keep, I check the app many times a day, probably more than I should. Um, Hopefully, hopefully I just use this shit over everything, every other Web2 platform. Um, what I want to say is, is that this app, I don't know if it's going to be the, the thing to take us out of this rut. I don't know if it's going to lead to hyper Bitcoinization. I don't know if it's going to do that. I just know right now it's the most interesting thing. And it's the most interesting, interest, interesting thing in a long time. Um, sorry, I forgot the point I was going to make. Hopefully it'll come back to me. Um, but yeah, so the more and more people that use this, the more it's going to kind of dr drag the detractors in kicking and screaming because the dopamine you get and the addiction and then the FOMO you get from seeing other people lock up is just going to be crazy. Um, because, you know, if you if you think you have clout within the space, look, I'm not talking. This is not my opinion. OK, I'm just talking about, unfortunately, the negative, uh, you know, TikTok only fan society we live in. I'm talking from the NPC's perspective. If you're if you're someone in this in any community and you see someone doing something else, it's like it's kind of like that meme with that guy, uh, the guy standing at the party like they don't know. Um, except, you know, he they, everybody knows that that guy is just not joining in. Um, it's going to create a FOMO effect, right? Because if they're like, oh, they got some dogma about this thing that is dumb, but then they keep saying, okay, 50 coins lot, 100 coins lot, 1,000 coins lot, by put people some on pseudo, pseudo, anon, then, but you're supposed to be a guy who's a leader, but you haven't locked anything up. Oh, I remember the point. So the point I was going to make is, if you're going to criticize it, just know that it's so easy to counter punch, right? Because all the person has to say back is, well, you have zero coins locked behind this. Whereas I'll, I've been, I'll say whatever fuck I want on there because it's public on chain and I put money behind it, right? And people can say it's elitist or whatever, but the, what I find most fascinating about this thing is that the economics will just work out because as time moves forward, if this thing doesn't work out, then people will just take their coins and go sell them or whatever, right? Or use them elsewhere. Um, so it'll just die on its own. But if it does work out, you'll start see people do more dynamic locks in the future. So, you know, you may be locked for a day or a week and then the network will automatically adjust to what's relevant at that point in time. Right. So it's not proof of stake. Um, anyone calling it that hasn't even thought two seconds about it. So, you know, uh, because proof of stake implies a yield. There's no yield here. Um, there's just spending. Um, I'll, another point I made in the article is that um, I don't know of any crypto app that has seen 450 of their units go through without the prospect of actually making a return. So that's significant, in my opinion, um, of like tr like true spending. I don't I don't think in that short of time when we're talking 72 hours, this thing's been out. Um, I'm not aware of that. There's been plenty of other apps that have reached way higher volumes than that in way short amount of times. But the idea, but it was in with the intent, right? It was purchasing NFTs, gambling. Uh, ICOs, exchanges, whatever, right? Um, I'm not aware of one where that wasn't the, uh, the goal. So people are actually using this because they want true demand, right? And again, only on BSV. So that is, this, this is significant. But yeah, the, uh, going back to the, about the, peop, the folks saying, oh, well, it's dumb. Okay, bro, but you didn't lock up anything behind it. Uh, I was like, one guy already put, put 21 co coins calling Jack Lou a scammer. 
<laughs> he locked it for like five years so we got to look at that shit for a long time right so you know put your money away about this right i mean all these people all these folks got coins listen where you at right um and again elitist like i said if if the if it's elitist then you will stop seeing coins locked up you will see the number go down but i think the number is going to go up very i'm not talking about the price the number of locked coins is going to rise and the more that rises, the more that puts uh, going to put pressure on the price. Um, and, you know, we talk about price. Uh, for some reason, it's like not people don't want to talk about it. Five dollar meme is funny. But no, but the price needs to go up. Um, and the only way to make it go up is create demand. Uh, I don't I don't fucking care about all the cope um, about. Oh, it's uh, it's we're, we're being attacked. We need to be thinking with the half half glass, half full. Right. Um. We should be if we have the best chain that we need to actually act like it and think, OK, well, this thing's underpriced and we need to make the shit work because we all have an incentive to do so. Um, th that mentality of how this, you know, that the price being low is OK, is the most is some of the most damaging shit, seriously, like to this community. Um, it's it's absurd. Um, it's completely contrary to base economics. And, you know, but. We're going to change that shit, right? It, I, like I said, I don't know if this is going to work, but it's got it's got legs, man. It's got momentum. I mean, the meme magic behind this thing um, is great. Um, what I, I, I check it all the time to see what people are saying, where they're putting their money, where their mouth is. And, you know, I know a lot of folks are going to not like it. Um, they're not going to use it, which is fine, right? But all I'm, I'm not saying you can't criticize it. All I'm saying is just be prepared for someone to tell you that, well, there's zero coins. Like Kravitz told Kurt. He said, well, you didn't lock anything and you didn't put any POW proof of work. So this is indistinguishable from bullshit, which, you know, I mean, I like both of those guys. So it was pretty funny. But I mean, it's the truth, right? It's the truth. It's so like because uh, so, yeah, man, I mean, so I encourage people to just go try it out. Um, if you're worried about the security, like I said, I've unlocked many, not many, a few times independently of the domain or the relay x wallet just using my keys um and i i'll pop the gist right there um the more you see locked up I mean, the more times you see people unlock uh will give more confidence in the system um and then this script and you know it's using like i said it's using s script that alt push tx technique so you can do stateful stuff on bitcoin um and you know that that technique is uh, i think i'm pretty sure is the most custom used script in the chain which is for it's used with order lock which is how we buy nfts and tokens on chain so um the more that gets used the more confident people will become in it and like i said man um I'm, the next one i'm looking for a thousand coins five thousand ten thousand coins um when we get images and we lift a 21 million cap i mean sorry 21 coin cap unlocking um i i, I think we're going to see a lot and there's no way i mean based simple simple economics man there is no way you see a lot of coins locked up without that without the price having to react right because i'm not i don't know any other, other people's financial um details right i don't know how many coins they have um no one knows how many coins i have nobody knows how many coins satoshi has i believe the network is private um but i can tell you guys that i after using this app i feel more I feel like I need to put more coins into it, right? Um, but again, it cycles. You can make it cycle. So, you know, depending on what you want to say, you might want to really put your foot down on something and have it last for a year or two years or five years, 10 years. You might actually just want to save, which is, I think that's what a, that's what a lot, the biggest uh, locks have been, I think people just want to save. And that's why you haven't seen the big, the big locks is because uh, when they say, when we're talking about save, they probably want to do thousands of dollars. In value so we're talking hundreds of bsv right um but they can't do that so right now you're just seeing people you know make statements um i think the saving will be the biggest use case of this but then they can also put their you know like throwing down a gold bar on the table saying what's up right um that feeling is great i mean you know how, you can't even do that in real life right <laughs> like because now it's all digital i mean you just use your credit card and that's the incentive it's, there's no incentive to actually pay for cap anything with cash um but you know it's pretty badass so that's that's kind of how i view this app so i like it a lot um comments will be fascinating i'm sure because a lot of people don't like it and they don't like the people behind it but like i said man it's all on chains public so there's no really no one behind it 
Zero and Jack have worked on this interface. Um, like I said, I expect there to be five, six. I, I expect to be another interface very soon um, with another wallet, right? Um, so yeah, and then all that stuff should all, it, all the feeds should show the same data. That's where we want to go, okay? All right, so let me know a feedback. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.